guys, welcome back to the DNN Medical Series. It's your girl Nikki, and today we'll be talking a little bit about boric acid and is boric acid safe for the treatment of vaginal yeast infection? So, just a little overview before we jump into that. So, it's healthy to have a small amount of yeast on your skin around the areas of your mouth, your throat, and your vagina. So, under some condition, like when your immune system is weak or when you're, you have hormone changes during pregnancy, the yeast may multiply and cause an infection. And you end up with a yeast infection, which is a fungi or a fungus that multiplies. So what is boric acid? So boric acid is this white powder, this crystalline solid that act as a strong antiviral and antifungal agent in the body. It's also very important to note that boric acid can be used as a natural pest control. That is true. You can use boric acid to kill your cockroaches and other pests. The awesome thing is that boric acid is less toxic in humans and pets and more harsh on these chemical pesticides. So you can use for your vagina as well as for your insect. People can use boric acid as a secondary treatment for yeast infection. When I say secondary, I mean you are supposed to go to your doctor first to confirm that you have yeast infection. And then they're going to give you some treatment for that. And if those treatments don't work, you use boric acid as a second line. So there is also evidence that when a person uses boric acid in its optimal concentration and right amount, they have fewer side effects. So usually boric acid is used as a vaginal suppository. So it's, in, it's placed inside of your vagina. You're not supposed to be taking boric acid by a mouth because boric acid is very toxic. So some side effects that you can experience when you're taking boric acid for your yeast infection may include vaginal discomfort. You can have a mild burning sensation after inserting the capsule. You may have a watery discharge. And there are persons who should not take boric acid capsule. So if you have a fever, don't take boric acid. You have nausea, vaginal bleeding. You also have pelvic inflammatory disease any sexual transmitted disease at all, the, the gonorrhea, the syphilis, the herpes, if you have heart disease or if you have a blood vessel disorder, you're not supposed to be using the boric acid. So as I said before, you should not be ingesting boric acid orally or via mouth because boric acid is very toxic and you can have acute or chronic poisoning from boric acid. So some of the symptoms from boric acid poisoning include a blue-green vomit, you can have diarrhea, you can have bright red rash, you can have blisters, you can even collapse, go into a coma, have seizures, be drowsy, have fever, uh, having a low blood pressure, lack of the desire to do anything or even twitching of the face facial muscles, arms, legs, and feet. You can, this boric acid can also cause death if the perforation is in the esophagus and the stomach, and you can even die from these serious infections of the chest and abdominal cavity. So as said before, boric acid is a very toxic substance. You should be kept away from children and you should take it the proper way. Ensure that you confirm that you have yeast infection before you try to use boric acid to treat it and boric acid should be used as a second line when all else has failed. So that's it for me today. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to the DNN Medical Series. Until next time, see you soon. Bye!